Today we're going to talk about iron triangles. Not that kind of iron triangle. What is an iron triangle, you ask? It is basically a tight-knit relationship between Congress, the citizens, and the bureaucracy, all relying upon one another. Specifically, iron triangles bring together an interest group formed by American citizens concerned with a particular issue, a committee in Congress that designs legislation for this issue, and a bureaucratic agency that enforces this legislation. Each rely on one another. Interest groups rely on Congress to pass legislation which would make this change, and in return, Congress receives electoral support from interest groups. The bureaucracy also relies on Congress for funding and political support, and in exchange, the bureaucracy provides successful implementation of legislation. Finally, the interest groups rely on the bureaucracy for execution of the policies relating to their interests, while the bureaucracy relies on interest groups to lobby Congress on their behalf. An example of an iron triangle is the American Association for Retired People, or AARP, lobbying for legislation in the House Subcommittee on Aging, which is carried out by the Social Security Administration to provide a service for AARP members. But, that's old news. <coughs> Anyways, iron triangles are important in American government because they support pluralism, create relationships between institutions, and link people directly to their government. However, iron triangles may not always be beneficial, so warned Dwight D. Eisenhower when describing the military-industrial complex in his farewell address. The councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. Car guard, car guard, car guard. Great speech, Mr. President. Anyways. The military-industrial complex is a form of iron triangle which involves the armed forces requiring weapons, Congress creating defense contracts, and private arms manufacturers building these types of weapons for the armed forces. Eisenhower viewed this as a dangerous relationship because he feared it would dominate the U.S. economy, which was most likely due to the very expensive arms race of the Cold War during his presidency. And in conclusion... Iron triangles. Can we trust them? Uh. Uh. of shadows. Harvey Dent. Yeah. I'm a bad